That's a hot mess. This is not a hot mess. This is Andy. <laughs> but I'm tired of my welding stuff being just a mess. I just pile it everywhere. So I finally found a solution. Are you in on the ride? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Let's go. I think we all know that I'm organizationally challenged. Is that a word? Organ I'm not good at being organized. Yeah, look at that mess. It's stacked here. There's junk here, There's a, the tank is here. And in my effort to simplify my world, I have a solution for my welding world. Oh, that's kind of heavy. Oh, wow. Okay, they're stuck, great. Oh, that one's not. That's a long story. That's an even longer story. It didn't say which side is up, so you know what's gonna happen when I lift this up, right? Oh, that wasn't too bad at all. Ooh, solid wheels, nice. You might think, oh, plastic wheels, that's cheap. But um, actually Steve from Steve's Small Engine Repair taught me this. If they're made well, and these feel actually pretty good, number one, they don't go flat. Little wheels going flat. You know what a pain that is to fix? You do, because you're like me. And also, we're, gonna, we're not going through dirt. We're just gonna be on cement or maybe my driveway. Driveway. I think these are just fine. Very important. Is that in focus? I can't tell. Um, so uh, page three of the instructions basically is just an exploded diagram. So I'm just gonna build it and uh, shoot in some video uh, while I do it. That's gonna be a challenge. The import tools, they all have a particular kind of odor to them, smell, yeah. This is a Harbor Freight one, but I'll link to a, a, a similar online one if you want to order from online. Is that it? No, oh, that is it. supposed to spin. I thought it would spin really well, like, okay, well, there we go. Make sure you pay attention to that. Well, I mean, basically the instructions kind of blow, but I know that this is for um, the chains that hold the tank on and um, chains don't work upside down. So the hole should be at the top. So um, that has to be flipped. I was gonna say if all else fails, read directions, but can you read those directions? So, this isn't lining up right, because if this, there's, well, those two are at an angle, but you can't see it. There you go, those are at an angle, and this isn't. And um, if you look here, those holes are on the, these holes are on the inside, they're supposed to be out here. Uh, I'm not a detail person, as we know, so i um, got to take all this out. Oh, where'd it go? Hey! Listening to the You're podcast. Did you know coming. I have a podcast? So you do now. Host, Garden Fork it's Radio. Shelf. These things in the right place. Next is the the tilted shelf here. I learned something here. If you want these holes to line up with that metal, you can't tighten up 
these screws because um, all this is kind of, there's some loose tolerance here, but if those on the bottom are tight, these on the top aren't gonna line up. So um, it's looking good. New MIG welder. I'm so far really liking it. Information about this will be below. And I've got a whole shopping store page about welding gear like this um, and all the stuff I use to weld. And I'm not an expert, but I'm learning. So, um, yeah. Come on, go in there. of approval. <laughs> I am so much happier that I've got like one less thing that's on the ground all the time and I can, this was in two milk crates of welding stuff so now I can put the gear here and I'm one step closer to being an adult. And you have to bend over to reach it. Yeah so more information about this welder is in the uh, text of the video and also in the comments. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> I'm going to just stay here and get some Labrador love. <laughs> <laughs>